Hey everyone, welcome back to PassFab channel. If you just installed the iOS 26 beta and your battery is draining crazy fast, you're not alone. I'm going to walk you through a few simple settings you can change right now to help fix battery drain. The first tip to improve the battery standby time of your iPhone is to change your battery settings. Head into your settings app and tap on battery. Here, you want to make sure low power mode is turned on if you're really struggling. It temporarily reduces background activity until you can fully charge your phone. Also, take a look at your battery usage by tapping on battery health. While you can't change the health percentage, being aware of it helps you understand your battery's capacity. If the capacity is too low, that could be the reason why your battery doesn't last. The second tip to save more battery on your phone is to adjust your automatic brightness. Go back to the main settings menu and tap accessibility. Then display and text size. Scroll all the way down and make sure auto brightness is switched off. This lets your iPhone keep the screen brightness constant as it no longer has to sense ambient lighting to adjust screen brightness, which is a huge power drain, saving you precious battery life throughout the day. The third tip is to turn off background app refresh and location services for apps that don't need them. Go to Settings, then General, and tap Background App Refresh. I recommend setting this to Wi-Fi only or even off completely. Next, go to Settings and tap Privacy and Security, then Location Services. Go through this list and for any app that doesn't absolutely need your location, tap on it and set it to Never. For others, while using the app is the most battery-friendly option. Now, if you've tried all of these software fixes and your battery is still terrible, it might just be that this iOS 26 beta isn't stable enough for your daily driver. In that case, the best solution is to downgrade back to the stable iOS 18. The easiest and safest way which I would recommend for this process without losing your data is by using a tool called Tenorshare Re-iBoot. It puts your phone through the entire downgrade process and ensures your phone gets back to a stable version without any issues. There's a link in this video description and you can use it to check out the software tool. I hope these tips help you get that battery life back under control. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech solutions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.